going now, guys? Top Nerd City here, back for another match day experience. I'm going to show you outside quickly. As you can see, it's still dark out there. That is because it is, I think, half past seven, just before half past seven, and we are off to Ipswich Town today. It is, of course, the East Anglian Derby. It's Sunday. It's very, very early. It is Derby Day. Derby Day is here, the day of the season that all Ipswich fans and all Norwich fans alike both equally hate, dread, but love. Uh, so, Ipswich Town away today. Um, me, Chris and Craig are going to get the train to Ipswich and then the rest of the day we'll see where it goes. Now, the pub at Ipswich, the away pub, the railway pub, whatever it's called, the station inn, opens at 8 o'clock in the morning. Now, the reason derby days, derby games are usually brought to a lunchtime kickoff is so people don't have enough time to get ridiculously drunk. So what do the pub do? Well, they open earlier, of course they do. Eight o'clock, there's loads of boys on the seven o'clock train, which is just a bit ludicrous, and I can't deal with that little sleep. So it's nine o'clock for us. You don't really care about all of this chit chat. You just want to see some action, I guess. Uh, right, let's do this. <laughs> a bit nervous, very nervous actually. Uh, come on you boys. Okay, so a quick rundown on the East Anglian Derby for those of you who don't know, or do know, but just, Want reminding. Ipswich Town have been in the championship for the past 16 years, haven't been relegated, haven't been promoted. So that means if you're still at school and you're an Ipswich fan, you've never seen Ipswich Town out of the second division of English football. They haven't beaten us for eight years. There's been some crushing defeats in there for them. Beat them in the playoff semi final a few years ago. Beat them 5 1 and 4 1 in the same season when we went up. So overall, it's been a pretty grim past decade for Ipswich, but the 50 mile trip today for Norwich fans are probably going to be a little bit more nerve wracking than usual. Ipswich won their first five games of the season, they were top of the league, they made some good signings, Waghorn, Garner, some Selina, that's the one, from Manchester City, so they're looking a bit better this season. Lift is going up. I'm about to get to Chris's, I'm at Chris's, just need to go knock on his door. Then, we'll head to the train station. That is your East Anglian Derby rundown. Okay, so we are walking down a very quiet main road in Norwich. It is still very early, we've got Craig to my left. This sounds like the start of a song, eating his pan of chocolate. Now, <laughs> I actually remember making this walk last season before the away game. What was the home game? No, the away game. And we were very confident then, and we drew, was it 1-1, wasn't it? Yeah. Chris, how are you feeling this year, making this walk? I'm always confident against Ipswich, Jack. It's just one of those games where you know technically we're better. Um, you know we can out, you know, outclass them in many, many areas across the pitch. But anything can happen in a derby, and in fairness to Ipswich, they really are, they are due a win. Should we go this way? How many years have they not won against us for, Jack? Eight years. Against us in eight years, they are due something today, aren't they? They are, but I know that is a very valid point. But we say that every year, we do just say that every year, it's and it never seems to happen, now, isn't it? Saying that you know we're going to lose and again we win or get a draw. So, I, I think, let's the, just see. I think the most depressing thing for this is, is it was just community here at a lovely little, lovely little lad. I think he's like eight or something, done yeah. great fundraising and stuff. But in his whole lifetime, his whole existence. Ipswich Town have never beaten Norwich City. That's quite a sad thought for him. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest, if you're a 16 year old now, right, you've not seen Ipswich do anything, like anything at all, really. Um, no, it's not even really. You've not seen them do anything. They got so, in the playoffs. So, really, if you're 16 years old, you've given up and ended up supporting Chelsea like the rest of them. So, you know, it's just one of those things, isn't it, Jack? It is. Craig, how you feeling? Good, mate. Yeah. Good. How, how was that pan of chocolate, by the way? Oh, he's still clapping. I think it's just a Tesco one. Uh, well, what can you do? You can only do what you can do. <laughs> what do you get for breakfast? I don't know, like, something... I, I think you're a bit nervous, Chris, because you're normally just gannetting food now. Today, you're not really sure. No, 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 I've already had my, my mama on toast. Oh, right. My coffee. That's just such My a apple. Problem. Got the apple in. Right. So, yeah, it's all good. Right. Trade station time. Going past gravity. What a place. One of our brilliant sponsors. Also, if you do want to win some tickets to the Arsenal game, you're going to have to be quick because the competition ends today. But go and check out either our Twitter, Facebook page or Instagram page and enter 
the ticket giveaway for the Arsenal game thanks to Leo Vegas. Yes, Leo Vegas. <laughs> we love Leo. <laughs> Get in, Leo. True great round of fashion. Three of the four collection ticket Massive. machines are broken. Unbelievable. Great round. Sort it out. Let's do this. The Just, where is it? Just there. Keep it Lots of fans piling in. On the ball, City! Nervous! I'm gonna single! I just don't think you understand! The City's number one, you saw the bright gun. We've got I'm guessing go! On the barrel, we've got. Olivera, we've got Olivera, he's got goals. Say that you love me all of the time. You keep on scoring. Always be my cause. We've got Olivera, we've got Olivera, we've got Olivera, he's got goals. Because we've got Olivera, we've got Olivera, we've got Olivera, he's got gold. Say that you love me all of the time. You keep on scoring. I will always be my Today, never mind the danger. Stay on. Now's your chance. Oh, so sit in. Sit in. You're only here for the Norwich, here for the Norwich. You're only here for the Norwich, here for the Norwich. Team for today, no Nelson in the starting 11. Well, that's a decent team. Schiefland comes in for husband. Vilch gets starts. Madison and Houlihan. Thoughts on the team? Surprise, husband's been dropped. Houlihan and Madison in there. Do you, think that, do you think that'll work? Yeah. Who'd have to score the first, mate? Stats, Nelson isn't starting. Thoughts? That is thoughts, all right. Do you care? Do you, do you allow swearing on your channel? <laughs> Cameron Jerome. Rubbish. 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 Cameron Jerome. Good record. Oh, yo. He is a bit for my show. Oh, yo. He never gives the ball away. One, two, three, four. Oh, yo. Super tummy tribal. Oh, yo. He never gives the ball away. On the ball, City! Never mind the danger, City on. Now it's your chance. Oh, it's your City! 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 crushed by a horse. Deary me. How's the horse? <laughs> oh my word. This is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so dogs, horses. Oh, from as well. Up the free pepper arm. Dog returns. What an absolute legend. Love that dog. He is a bit of a maestro. There is a new dog alert. One, two, three, four. Oh, Super tubby tribal. He is a bit of a maestro. He is a bit of a maestro. No, 
12 bites, Sotlavina crisps, burger. Cheeseburger. What did you make the first half? Cameras out. I, I, I feel it's been a really good game of football. Uh, uh, it's it's funny. I've been Tom, don't so embarrass much. yourself, mate. It's been brilliant. We've been all over them. Where's your dad? Right, second half's about to begin. The first half of the KQ on both teams had chances. Ipswich probably had the better of the chances and probably should be leading. But Norwich shooting this end, this half. Let's hope that we can do it. The ref has been appalling so far. Very cagey game. A few bits of space. Yannick Bill still with a bit of a bit of space. Still no Nelson on the pitch so far. We'll see how this goes. Could go anywhere.
for Madison's goal. Yeah. What a win. Oh, oh, oh. He never gives the ball away. We went, we conquered, we came home. Norwich won, Ipswich nil. Mate, talk to me about that. Craig? James Madison, <laughs> what a boy. Yannick Vilshire, what a boy. AG, what a boy. Husband, oh, honestly, when husband came, came on, first touch, I thought he was going to strike it. <laughs> I thought he was going to slash it home. And you were like, oh no. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my lucky pants today. And I've just realised, and that's why we got the win. Maybe I'll, I'll um, give you a moon at the end, Jack. We will, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll sum the game up in full detail on the podcast. Basically, absolutely buzzing. It's just another standard win for Norwich against a very, very average overhyped Ipswich side. Um, I think that we controlled the game ridiculously well. Tommy T was an absolute warrior and won everything in midfield. And arguably for me, he was the reason today why we had so much dominance over the blue scum. Um, and yeah, I think I think it's just we're now in the playoffs. Everything's on the up. Um, mind the gap, Ipswich Town. Craig, you were just cleaning the, the, the remnants of a smoke grenade off your what looked like fairly new crepes. But except for that. Happy days. Boss day. Happy days. Well, we will catch you on the podcast coming out next week. And also, we've got Arsenal, the small matter of Arsenal, coming up on Tuesday night. Unfortunately, I can't go. But you guys can go if you enter the Leo Vegas competition on the TNC Instagram page, Twitter page, and Facebook page. You've got three chances of winning. Enter them all. Link's down in the description for that. What a win over Ipswich. I need water desperately. See you later.